and what weather can you expect, right? So let's check in with Lainey Pope and find out more. Hey, Lainey. Yeah, today was a great day, Louie. Hope you had some time outdoors. We had a little bit of sunshine from time to time. Take a look at Phelps Park in Galax, where you see the blue skies. A lot of folks out for a little afternoon stroll on a Sunday afternoon. Temperatures a little bit above normal this afternoon. I know who was busy, but was also enjoying the weather. John Johnson, check this out. He was over at the Wake women's basketball game and then posted this photo on Twitter from Wake's baseball game. That is a nice perch you got there, John, and beautiful blue skies there off in the distance. Well, you know, spring when baseball is underway, it's also getting close to spring when the pollen counts are up here, but these are really early. These high tree pollen counts. I don't know if you've noticed, but everything seems to be coming to bloom all at once. So cedar, juniper, elk and maple all high for tomorrow. Also the grass pollen starting to register just a little bit in that low range. Now spring is not official until March 20th, so we're about three weeks away when the average high is 62 two degrees. Now today we weren't far from that at 59, but just a little bit above normal. Our average low is 35 and you know we can still get freezing temperatures, right? The average last spring freeze is the first couple of weeks of April in the triad. Now it can be as early as March that has happened before or as late as May that happened in the late 1980s, but this was just released from NOAA today and this is the temperature outlook for the middle and latter half of March when we're looking for a big pattern change. This typically happens to us, right? And we get colder than normal temperatures in March and sometimes in April, and it does look like we'll see that swing later on in March. For now, we've got some pretty comfortable temperatures. They're in the 40s, close to 50 degrees in our area. We do have cloud cover around. You notice it and you're noticing too a fog advisory down toward Columbia where that front is. I actually think there will be some fog in our mountain and foothill communities as that lifts to the north tomorrow morning. And then we're also anticipating some showers. So it's a weather impact day, some morning light rain possibly for the commute and then for the afternoon and evening the showers become a little more likely. We're also looking for most of it to be light with rainfall totals at a quarter of an inch or less. So here's the hour hour forecast shows you that little arm of moisture along that front. It lifts to the north. We get into the warm sector. Temperatures will be into the mid 60s. I think ahead of a cold front that comes in late tomorrow and that's why the rain chance goes up in that window between about 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. and you'll see some of those rainfall totals that are expected across the area. Tomorrow morning we start in the mid to upper 40s fog, a small shower chance. Breezes pick up out of the south 10 to 15 miles an hour. High temperatures are in the mid 60s. Rain chances go up late in the day. Foothills also anticipating the highest rain chance to be in the afternoon and evening. We'll also see some showers scattered about in the mountains by late day with a high of 54. We've got weather impact days expected on Thursday as well as Friday when a strong cold front heads our way. That one could bring us some thunder. This severe weather is going to stay to our west for now. The next storm system that impacts us is this one that is just off the coast there of Seattle, and that will be moving our way by Friday. I've put in a chance of thunder, some wind with that, and then cooler, drier conditions into the weekend, which are more normal for early March.